Well, I have something really, really special to show you guys today. This is um, um, for any of you historians out there that are interested in the Mosquito aircraft. Um, they were made in Toronto for for a period of time in World War II, and Northern Electric was the uh, com company that was responsible for designing the communications equipment that went into these aircraft. Um, and just to be clear, this is the uh, original um, service manual um, installation and uh, you know every single little detail of information about the installation and servicing components in these communication systems is in this manual. Um, here we have a, an index. So we see we have the uh, transmitter, the receiver, uh, there's a radio compass and the interphone communication. And it basically just goes through all the, um, yeah, just all the different uh, specifications. You see these are beautiful drawings. Um, and uh, it's just really special to see, see all this. Just really, really, really cool. Um, I would. I'm not sure if this is a, a, a rare thing or not, but I was um, a friend of mine. who was a good, uh, really great engineer. Uh, was a. I uh, was in the army. Uh, he was a good uh, en engineer. He worked for my dad uh, at CBC Radio. Uh, he was a, a great radio engineer and um, me and him became um, well I, don't, I I'd say we I mean I I never spent that much time with him but he was a, a, a someone that I really really looked up to but anyways he passed away uh, last year and um, he gave these manuals to my dad and he said I'd like for Scott to have these manuals so he knew that I would enjoy this um, which I really really do uh, it's very interesting looking through this s stuff and I'm not sure how rare this is either I, I really have no idea I don't know if this information is re readily available on the internet or or what uh, however I mean I would imagine that there are people out there that maybe would require this information. I don't know, museums or, or whatnot. Uh, there are these full schematics here <laughs> that fold out of this thing, and they're they're about you know four feet long. I won't I won't I won't take them out now, but you can kind of get an idea here of what what we're talking about. Like it's just like incredibly thorough. So, anyhow, let's see what we have here. Here's the power supply. Uh, front of the view of type MP2. It's a power supply. So, uh, it's a, anyways, if there's anybody out there that requires any information that could potentially be in this manual please let me know I will be happy to uh, to do the best I can to give you some of the information in this manual for as long as I have it uh, I would imagine that yeah, it's a fairly good shape too but um, this is the original manual from World War II for them famous mosquito aircraft and uh, if you don't know what the mosquito is it was a, a wooden aircraft very very uh, uh, one of the most successful uh, I think it was a not sure if it was a bomber or a fighter but <clears throat> a really cool piece of Canadian history here so so just wanted to share that with you guys real quick if, uh, and again, don't hesitate to contact me if you need any information out of this manual. Thanks.